So, you want to learn Agni, the Hindu god of fire. You've come to the right saga, the Agni saga. Okay, lame DBZ reference, it's over. But with Agni, it shall begin. First of all, the build is pretty simple. You want to start with Mage's Blessing, Tiny Trinket, two health pots, and one mana pot. Side note, you do have an extra 100 gold, so if you need, feel like you need the pots, go right ahead, but I feel I don't need those. Before I move on with the rest of the build, I will mention if you do need Anthony Heal, build Divine Rune by the third slot. With that aside, let's move on. In this order, you want to buy these items. Choose a Focus or Magi. I prefer the pin from Magi, but that is completely up to you. Necros Talon. Life still works really well with Agni and his passive, his Noxious Fumes, and his Path of Flames. They all do damage over time, so you're constantly taking life from your enemy and giving it to yourself. Spear of the Magus. This is super useful for gods that have a lot of damage over time. It will shred enemy protections, allowing you to deal as much damage as possible. Switch your characters, you can deal true damage after you've ticked this the five times to have 75 flat pin. For tanks, maybe not so much, but you can still do a lot more damage than normal. Agni can trigger this item on enemy gods with his passive, Noxus Fumes, or Path of Flames. Rod of Tuhuti. The passive for Tuhuti works so well with Spear of the Magus. When an enemy god is below 50% of their HP, they want to take increased damage from your abilities. This makes your flame, wave, and rain fire hit even harder than they would if your enemy had higher health than 50%. The last two items are Chronos Pendant and Obsidian Shard. In which order you build them depends on the game situation. If you need more pin right away, go ahead and grab it first. If you need more CDR, then go ahead and grab Chronos Pendant. Now, let's go over Agni's abilities and damage values. Combustion is passive. After four successful basic attacks, enemies hit by flame wave or rain of fire will take an extra five damage plus 10% of your magical power over six ticks that occur over three seconds, or 30 damage plus 60% of your magical power. Noxious Fumes. Normally, this is only used so that Agni can use another ability to stun a target. However, if you let it stay in the area for the full duration, it would do 50 damage per tick plus 5%, or in other words, 500 damage plus 50% of your magical power. Flame Wave. This is important, first of all. This ability persists for one second after the casting animation. This is huge for trying to land a stun on an enemy and they're not expecting it. This ability does 290 damage plus 65% of your magical power. Path of Flames. This ability takes four times over two seconds. This will do 60 per tick plus 15% per tick, or 240 damage plus 60% of your magical power. Also, for each time your enemy crosses over this ability, it resets the ticks. It doesn't matter how many they take it, they will start taking even more ticks, as if they just crossed over. Rainfire. For every 18 seconds, you gain one giant meteor of damage. This ability is free of mana cost. You can have the three charges stored up to one time. CDR does affect the cooldowns on this ability. This ability deals 300 damage plus 70% of your magical power. I hope you can learn from this quick overview of this current build and his abilities. Hope you start wrecking your opponent soon with this god. Thank you everyone for watching. Majin Busha, peace out.